morning. Another week is starting, another fresh start. Today we are going to be doing the spiral staircase and necklaces. I am have to apologize that I was a few minutes late. <laughs> computer, <laughs> computer issues as always. <laughs> they just like they they the computer said no. <laughs> so I had to I had to restart it and do all sorts of different things. So spiral staircase today. I love 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 these necklaces. I should have actually put um a couple of them on. I really do love um do love this stitch because it's so versatile so you can do you can try out with all sorts of different beads the one i'm going to be showing to you we're going to be using size 11 size 15 and hex cut beads and i'm just going to actually i'm going to pop this on for you so you can see how does it sit these ones all made a little bit longer but you can see it just gives you a lovely texture on your neck, like a, a spiral, spiral effect going round and round and round. And I really do love it because it's a no no brain stitch. You're doing the same step. It's like Russian spiral. You're doing the same same stitch, the same step over and over and over and over again. So you know you can't go wrong. Even if you put it down and you pick it back up, you know where you're gonna be and you know what you need to do. So today Simon has <laughs> put us a couple of things together on the website so I'm very quickly gonna show you that one and then I'm gonna turn you down and show you the samples and you can tell me which one do you want to demo with I've got so many different colors here the main bone of the color of the necklaces is going to be either gold or rose gold and then the hex cut beads are gonna be like different in um in device how you one of my lights is not working either I don't know what's going on with technology this morning, but hey, hey we're just going to troop on <laughs> and we're just going to carry on and um, we're going to start the make. Right, I'm very quickly going to pop you down to the mat and I'm going to show, should I take you to the website first actually? Um, we made some of them available as a single little kit and then we got a couple of bundles on there as well. So you could do like either one of those if you wanted to. Let me just give me one sec and I move my window around so you can see where exactly we are. And just close this window. Right, okay, going to the, there's another one open. There we go, now all closed. So now going to the website very, very quickly. There we go. So you know the drill? You know the drill what you need to do you're gonna go on our on the website you either press on categories and go to video tutorials or you have the video tutorials button here on the top right hand side i did have to think about it i never know which one is my right and left hand <laughs> right scrolling down all the other projects going back are there for the, the weeks um, we'd be been be doing now this is almost ready well actually it's ready we, we just need to add some other pictures um sort of category pictures in there so now you can search by kind you can search by technique or you can search by date so if you go in let's go in by kind very very quickly then we have grouped all the projects all the tutorials we've done in the last over a year <laughs> into bracelets christmas christopher's creations home decor earrings necklaces pendants so depending what you feel like making you can pop in there and have a look we also group them by technique, so you can pop in and have a look. The um, just click on this. We can pop in what you want to do. So we got bead stringing. This is more working with tiger tail. We got bead weaving, beaded beads, brick stitch, chain mill, and um, Christmas elastic, embezzling, embroidery, etc., etc., et all the way down. So you can look at by technique as well if you would want to, like you know, if you're looking for a particular um technique like working with via i'm going to pop in here very quickly and you can see we got all the different projects we did over last year where we we're working with via where it was like a french beading or wire wrapping or netley's bird's nest all the ones working with wire will be in that category so i hope this will make it easier for you to find um all sorts of tutorials what you would like to what you would like to have a go and i do encourage you like uh, we can't be live seven days a week so perhaps you could go back and and um, have a look at some of them you have might have missed last year right okay spiral hex um 
spire staircase with hex and beads right i'm gonna pop in here very quickly show you so we have got three gold kits here and we've got three rose gold kits and we got two bundles now an offer is on the bundle in the bundle you will be making five necklaces so for and simon has given us a really generous discount there because they're down to 22.99 from 29.99 so you will be making five necklaces with that kit gold or rose gold they are slightly different hex cut with both of those i'm just going to pop into the gold they're slightly different hex cut beads with the gold and they're slightly different with the rose gold as well so depending on which one do you like the uh, look of it go for that one but the offer won't be there for for long i guess and we we only got the stock what we have so and then you can get them separately as well i'm just very quickly going to rose until this one is going to make three bracelets or one necklaces you still get three class with it you get your 11s 15s and your hex cuts with the magnetic class needle and thread is always an extra because you might have thread at home so you don't have to buy it again right going back to back to me and we are gonna go straight down to the mat so there we go so we got the these are the rose colors and let me just take this one off what i just put on so the rose ones we have got a lovely lilac a lovely like a darker rose color we also have got the rose gold hex cut with it so this one is totally exactly the same color and you have the tanzanite and this really nice nice aqua color let me actually come in and zoomed in let me zoom in here so you can really see it they look really fantastic they're not because we're only adding a hint of color in there with the hex cut it's not overpowering and I, I think just they they perfect for pendants and other bits of pieces now on the other hand the gold will be coming with more of a purpley shade a teal a smoky gray the black diamond bead the gold itself and more like a amethysty purple so gold colors and I'm just going to grab these ones and bring them back. And they are the rose gold colors. So the, even if you go for both, you're not going to have any of the hex cuts doubled up. They're all going to be separate and they're all going to be all going to be different. Right now, let me know which color do you want me to demo with. Do you want, the, do you want me to demo with gold or rose gold? Let me just pop this here. Zoom out a little bit so I can demo with exactly the color you want i'm just going to zoom out so those, those are gold arrangements and these are rose gold and gold <laughs> i was i put my hand on the rose gold but i was looking at the gold aqua tanzanite please camille is saying let me just grab a sip of my coffee rose gold rose gold is it difficult no and it's not difficult at all really really easy I will show you the stitch and you will be like, even if you're a complete beginner, you can have a really good result with this one. In my opinion, but don't just take my word for it. I think spiral staircase is easier than Russian spiral. But let me know in the comments if you, if you perhaps done both of the stitches, how have you found it? I think I love spiral staircase and, um, for me, it was easier than Russian Spiral itself. Well, depending on which version, I guess. Because each each stitch, you could take it as difficult or as easy as you wanted. Love both. How to choose. <laughs> I'm feeling an order coming. Um, Lorna is saying, oh, bless. How many grams of beads do we get in the bundle? Min is asking. So in the bundle, you get two bags of the size 11 one bag of size 15 and one each bag of the hex cuts as well they get five grams of each let me just show you because i got you on them give me one sec just move my trays about and i can show you so you do get i don't know they're quite flattened out on there but you do do get a lot um in the bundle i think I think um, what I'm going to do, I'm very quickly going to measure you the size 15s so I can um, 
I can tell you exactly how many gram is on there because then you can see sort of have the have a reference point so I think these ones are yeah so the size 15s are 10 grams so they would be no 15, 16 grams the size 15s are 16 grams the size 10 are 20 grams I know that for a fact and these ones, I'm just very quickly going to measure one. I'm really sorry, but <laughs> I didn't, I didn't check. And I don't know if Simon displayed it on the website, but I'd rather very quickly measure it with my scales for you than tell you the wrong thing. So these ones are five grams. Yeah, I was right. You know, sometimes and you think like, yeah, that they are five grams and then you doubt yourself in your head. So hex cuts are five grams each. So you get 20 grams of those. You get 20 grams of the size 11 and you get 16 grams of the size 15. These are PF colors. Remember, they are more expensive by themselves as well. So do, do like that they do cost more. So gold or rose gold. Let me just get rose gold and teal. Leanne is saying rose gold and green. Um, rose and a teal. So the rose gold is, is like more like an aqua color. The teal is with the gold. Still working on Russian spiral shelter saying gold and green, rose gold with teal. I think the rose gold with this one is going to be the winner. I like them equally. And he's saying rose gold and teal. So I think that that's more like aqua. So we're going to do that. Rose gold. I hear you. You like the rose gold. Everybody likes the rose gold. So we're going to go with the rose gold. I'm just going up, just very quickly scoring up, but low gold contrast is better. Oh, bless you. Rose, everybody, mo loads of people saying the rose gold. So I think wanna, we want to stick with the uh, rose gold. What size are the hex cut beads? They are size 11. So you've got size 11 seed beads. you got size 15 seed beads. And don't worry about it. We need to pick them up once. You don't, it's not even going to be an issue at all for anybody even if your eyesight is not as good because we're just going to poke the needle at it right very quickly let me thread my needle up them we are using super long double a because you do have to go through that core bead quite a few time so i'm gonna just grab my needle oh, i've got my little tube there we go. I want one of these. So, um, have it if I have, I don't know if I've got any black ones left in there, but have a look at these needles. They are on the website. So we have got this pack. It comes in a little tube. They are size. There is no size 10 left in there because they, they are the one with the black tops. I used all of the maps. The turquoise ones are size 11 and the red top ones are size 12 needles. I'm going to use a size 11 needle for this, but I could have started with a size 10, but the black one is gone. So I'm starting with a size 11. So um, Diane is saying, I found that I struggled getting the needle through the center because of going through so many times. So you need to use a slightly uh, thinner needle or a thinner thread. The thread which comes with the kit is double A. So th those are the thinner one of the two. There is super long comes in double A and comes in D as well. All right, let me just move this out of the way. So is they not in the way for us? We're going to do the turquoise. We're going to do this one. Shall I leave the other top? Look, look how sparkly is that? Look, at, I just love it. Look at the, how sparkly. And even if you make a longer lariat style necklace and it moves around in your neck, that's going to be really sparkly. Like, but it's not, it's not too overpowering. It's just, I love it. I really do love it. Oh, Lucy popped the link there for the needles. That's great. Thank you, Lucy. Sad there is no silver option. Victoria is saying, oh, I hear you, Victoria. And I'm sad as well because I love silver. But Toho actually doesn't do a... Um, silver, silver color. They silver, galvanized silver seed beads are more... Like they got a hint of, like a hint of yellow in there, I think. They, they're not properly silver. They're like a very, 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 very light shade of gold. But um, yeah, we could, you could, we could try all sorts of different things. 
I, I of course we could do it in like silver line clear or seed beads which probably would be more like a silvery option but i really wanted to go with these necklaces i really wanted to go to the metallic look and uh, I don't, you know <laughs> right okay let's get started so we're gonna start if you look at the spiral staircase and i'm gonna bring this in i'm hoping this is gonna um, focus on it very well so you can see we got our little outside loops how close can i come i think that's the closest this camera is gonna let me to come so you got your outside loops and on the outside loops you do have you do you do have like can you see like you've got an inner core going all the way around the size 11s you just about you'll be able to see them they're sitting just there in between the loops so what we are going to be doing all the way around we're going to be creating loops and every single time we create a loop we're going to be going one bead up really just as easy as that and if i pull this aside you can see those loops are sitting on the seed beads just there okay so we're going to pick up four of these lovely seed beads now you could do larger loops and you could do smaller loops as well it doesn't have to be you know don't um just think that if you try a size and it doesn't work that, let me just come back to it. If you try a size, it doesn't work. You can always make larger loops if you want it. And that's how you can taper necklaces as well. That if you want to do in the middle, you could do larger loops. So you can have um, a, a really nice and beautiful sort of tapered look as well. Right, four size 11 seed beads. I'm going to take this down. And then I'm going to pick up one size 15 i'm going to pick up one hex cut and another size 15 oops i just pinked that across and that's all i'm going to be picking up i shouldn't have put that cream i just put a little bit of cream on my hand just to sort of you don't see my really um, my skin is so dry at the moment and then everything is going to stick to it i'm going to take these down as well so what i need to do and how i start i need to turn these beads into a loop so i'm going to come through but i'm only going to come through these four seed beads let let me just zoom in and actually let just i always do this i always put the seed beads right down in front of me and then i'm trying to work and then you won't be able to see so let's just move these to the side so they're not going to be in our shot so you can see it better there we go and then i'm going to go ahead and zoom in One second. Where is my camera? I think it's gone. No, not done. Sorry, sorry. One second, one second. There we go. There we go. Found it. There we go. So it zoomed in. So I got four size 11, one size 15, one hex cut, one size 15. All I'm going to do, I usually like to wrap this around my finger and then I'm going to go come up through the four size 11s and pull this up. Um, Debbie's saying, will the rose gold beads change color or tarnish at all? Now these are the PF, which is called Perma Finish. Um, it stands for perma finished 552 color and it doesn't so it takes a long 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 very long time so remember when i made the po2 ring and i wore it for a month in hail or snow sunshine or washing up or gardening or doing anything and the delica beads which i had on there the color is faded on that one but the pf 552s they stayed just as good as they were at um at the um at the beginning when i made it so i didn't fade it at all right okay so we got four seed beads on one side of our loop and we got three seed beads on the other side now i'm gonna go ahead every single time when i finish the loop i'm gonna pick up one size 11 i'm gonna pick up one size 15 a hex cut and another size 15 and this is going to be our pattern all the way down all the way through the necklace so I'm going to take this down. 
Now you need to decide which way do you want your spirals to go. I like to sort of work on the right hand side so I'm always flipping my little loops to the left hand side and then I'm turning my work as I go along. You're always going to go through four size 11 seed beads. Now if I can them from the bottom all the way to the top at the moment, and I'm going to come in a little bit, at the moment I got five on here but I only need to go through four. So I'm going to go through three of the previous ones and I'm going to, the fourth one is going to be the one I just added to my thread and I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to create a second loop but this time can you see this loop is sitting a little bit further up from the first loop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this loop and slide it to the left so just sitting on top of the first loop just like that and I'm going to repeat the process again one seed bead one one size 11 seed bead one size 15 seed bead one hex cut and another size 15. I'm going to take these down going to take these down and I'm going to come through four again so three from the previous round one two three and the fourth one is the new one we just added and I'm going to pull this up nice and tight again so you can see this one again sits a little bit further up than one, the one before. I'm going to flip it to the left hand side. But if you're right handed, you might want to go. Well, if you're left handed, you might want to go the other way. And I'm just going to hold it there and repeat it again. So one size 11, one size 15, one hex cut, another size 15. Take these beauties down. And I'm going to go through the next the last four so three from the previous and the one we just picked up and that's it and pull your thread through that's if you don't don't get a knot on it all right let's just pull this back that's it it's nice and like can you see like it's almost i almost went around the 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 core beads which is the size 11 around itself so I'm going to carry on I'm going to do a few more stitches and you're going to see how well this is going to just form around each other around the core beads and that's that's all we're doing we're picking up the same beads over and over again and going through the four beads always moving along one Just like that. Um, Lon is saying, sorry, missed the beginning. Is there a PDF with the bundle? Yes, it is lovely. So you get instructions with the bundle or in, with the smaller kits as well. Right, going through the next. Well, picking up the next size 11, size 15. Hex cut, size 15. Taking these down. And then I'm going to go through the last four again. I You can either start to sort of always count from the top down or I usually eyeball it and I'll show you what I, what, what I eyeball, eyeball and how I'll find my place the easiest. So when I pick up my beads and can you see that loop comes into this seed bead just here. I hope the camera is picking that one up. And then when I look at this one, I aim for the next one and go through that 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 bead. So I always just jump up and look at where is the last connection I have with the core beads and go through the next bead. And because you're spiraling again and going through the core beads so many times, you can like, you know, fill up the core beads with the thread itself. And then, like, you might struggle to go through again. So if you're going to change the one down, I almost went through the one, one there. Um, if you're going to change the size of the beads, you can, because you could do this absolutely on size 8 seed beads. And I'll, at the end, if you got time, I'll grab um, some other samples I have with spiral staircase made already, and I can show it to you. 
because we've done it with crystals, we've done it with so many different things, and they really look beautiful. But once you learn the technique, you can do all sorts of different things. Just pull this up nice and light. So I went around myself, I'm going past myself, and I started my spiraling. Now I'm going to let my thread to spin itself out, because that's why we are getting... So I'm holding my needle, I'm going to hold my thread right underneath my needle, I'm going to take my index finger and thumb and just pull this thread through and if I hold it up you can see that it will start to spin around. That's it. So any spiral stitches you do, stop and do straighten out, untwist your thread, straighten out your thread because that's what can cause like the little knots forming on your thread and it can be so frustrating sometimes when you get a knot and undo it and then like straight away you get another knot. I'm just going to the last four. You can also do a trick that if it's hard to sort of go through the middle beads that do get a, get a smaller needle. So if you're working with size 12, 10s then go down to 11 or if you're working with 11 go down to 12. That could help. That could help you as well to get get you unstuck. But I've done this stitch in so many different, so so many. This is like a little bit more delicate, I suppose. This version here because we're working with seed beads, and the overall width of this stitch is probably only about five mil. So you are creating a really and perfect, perfect for any pendants you have really perfect for them because you it will look like you just have like a little beaded chain underneath the pendant but it's not too thick and it's not overpowering I, I really do love it I I love most of well all of the spiral stitches I guess because they're just so different Um, Lucy's asking, Mina, but Mina is asking, Lucy just gathering the comments for me, thank you so much Lucy. Is the instructions are similar to the crystal bracelet we did? Yes it is, it's just you're picking, working with different beads, different sizes of beads. Spiral staircase is spiral staircase, like with Russian spiral you can have some variations because you could use like less bead on one side and more bead on the other side but spiral staircase you can't really apart from adopting it and you know making larger loops or smaller loops the, the wiggle room with it is not as much as it's with Russian spiral it's like netting as well like tubular netting you do have to work out the exact number of beads you're working and you kind of need to stick to that so spiral staircase is a little bit like that as well. So I'm just going to go through. So don't forget, Simon has given us an amazing offer under $22.99 at the moment. And it will make you five necklaces. The little single kits, they're like 10, 11, how much I can see? 12, 12, 10, 10, 50 to 12, 20. I think the mo most, um, no, 13, 10 is the um, most expensive one for the single kids. They will make you either a necklace and a bracelet or three bracelets. So we're still giving you more class because you hardly need any materials to do a bracelet with this one. Just keep going. I'm going to go and add a few more. And that's that's all there is, you know, to the stitch. That's, that's what I love about it, that you just, even if I, the doorbell rang or I want to go and make a cup of tea, I can put this down and walk away and when I come back, I know exactly what I have to do because there is only one stitch to it, so I don't have to think that, oh, have I gone through this or have I done that? Because I'm doing the same thing all the way down. Now, what's happening here, Mr. Thread? I'm not having much luck with this thread, am I? Uh, <laughs> this happened the other night as well. But never mind. What's happening with you, Debbie? Let me just grab another needle and I'm going to pick them apart. 
So whenever you get a knot, what I like to do, I stick one needle into the knot itself and I stick the other one right next to it and I pull them apart. And then that knot becomes bigger and I can pull it. This is the one I need to get. I think that's it. It should be good now. There we go. Twisted thread is just normal, just every, everyday stuff in my life. And pull this one. Will the kids make over the head necklaces? So you could keep going. I'm not sure how many, how many centimeters would I need to really have an overhead necklaces, but in the kit, what you actually get is you get magnetic clasp. So these are really easy to take off and to put on. So if you are, are, are sort of struggling with um, doing clasp ups, these are perfect for you. And then you can like, if you can't get your head over your, um, <laughs> can't get your hand over your head, you can always sort of flip it, clasp it at the front and then twist it around to the back. But they, they are magnetic clasp uh, included in the kit. I love those magnetic clasps. I, I even like, I finished this spray set. I was doing this on the creation station on my page on Saturday. And I finished it last night and I added a magnetic clasp on this one as well. Because it's so easy to undo and to put back on. And if I'm doing, I'm such a mink because I don't, <laughs> I don't take my jewelry off when I do any gardening or I go and start washing up or do anything like that. So actually the magnetic clasp like saves so many bracelet for me because if I do something when it would get caught and pulled and it would break it doesn't because the magnets then um, sort of lets the bracelet go and the bracelet just comes off so I love it my right, only thing you need to make sure that you keep flipping those loops to the left hand side or the right hand side if you're left handed or whichever side is more comfortable for you I guess to flip it into and just keep going. And I'm going to pull this down. Susan is asking, <laughs> morning, uh, really beautiful. Do you have a video in using mini duos? Having trouble following PDF instructions. Which one, which one, which mini duo are you are after? We did do a pendant for mini duos not that long ago lucy if you could find the link that would be great it, we were encasing an 18 millimeter rivoli i think it's called rene rene reese <laughs> i never know i'm so bad with names i can't remember and, and we've done so many kids i don't remember the names I think the most famous of can't remember the name is like I, I do remember it now because I make like a, a mental note of it every time is the parpuka um parpuka beads because I call them acorns and <laughs> they're not acorns they're not called acorns they're called arcos but I call them acorns oh bless and keep taking it down Oh, Jen, thank you so much for the stars. It's really, really appreciated. And I'm just going to go through that. And pulling it to left. So can you see, I've got like an inch or so here already. I'm just going to add a few more and then I can show you how to add the clasp. Really, but you got a few different options with the class as well than what you can do. But it's not really, you know, sometimes I would go and loop things around and other times I would just make like sort of a loop around and add it into one of the loops like I'd add it into this one. But I would make sure that I add more, sort of I go through more than once at the top. And keep going. So I'm just adding the same pattern over and over again. Uh, 
and pulling it through. I do try to keep a tight tension, so I usually wrap the end around my finger and I hold the thread down with my spare fingers. I pick up my pattern. I'll take the beads down. I let them. I let the thread go and I let the beads to drop where I need to. Where I need them to sit. Again, I wrap the thread around my fingers, holding it down by middle finger, so I got a nicer and tighter tension. And then I'm going to go in and go through the size 11s I need to go through, just like that. And pull it tight. And you can you see I'm still holding on to that loop right up until. I get to the end and I just let it go when I can pull it through. I'm just going to pull that course and there we go. So I'm going to take a little bit of, <laughs> I, I, I've taken such a long thread here <laughs> that I um, just keep weaving my arm around. I think us beaders, we've got really strong hands because you need to be pulling through the thread all the time. There we go, that's better. So. Let me know if you thought this was easier. Let me know if you thought it was harder or just about. Let me know if you tried this stitch before. Let me know if you like this stitch. Let me know if there is something what you don't, um, that the, or if you've got any questions about it. So I can answer it for you while we are live. Oh, Lucy's saying, not sure I posted the right link. I think that sounds about right, Renee Pendants for the mini duos. The reason might have been, might have been a bracelet. <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. Me, me and remembering names are just like, just like not good. Oh, Annie, thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciate it. I need to do something like I don't know. I need, I need to I need to ask some clever people how we can have like a shooting star coming across the screen when somebody sends stars. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? There we go. I think that's looking gorgeous. Now I'm gonna make probably i'm gonna make this into a bracelet because i got a necklace already if you there is no air wires in the kit but you could make like little earrings as well just to have like a little dangly bit coming down that would look cool as well you're just creating a spiral rope here and it's just a really great way to and because you're going through the beads so many times this doesn't really have any give and take on it. So they are perfect. So if you want to make like a beaded belt for a dress, this is a perfect technique to do it. What we videos we used in the spiral staircase in Beat Club? Yes, it was. And there was a, um, I think we released that as a kit as well, maybe. Do you have, how, do you know how many stars you have so far? I'm not quite sure i think we had 57 pounds worth of it or something like that i haven't haven't to, to take I don't, I don't even know how to take them out of facebook i need to figure that out i need to get simon to figure it out i think he linked all the accounts out but facebook only like pays out every three months or something like that so once but once it comes out we will be treating i guess something for the maybe i get a nice they all love Costa at work, so maybe I'll get them a nice lunch for Costa and be saving up so I can, once we get back to a bit more normal, I will treat myself and the other two Sarahs as well to something. But thank you so much, really, really appreciate it. Every single star. Elani saying it does look easier than Russian Spiral, but you make everything look easy. Oh, bless you. 
Right, I'm going to grab a clasp and we're going to just attach a clasp to one end because quite simply I still have my bobbin on there. You know I always do this. And then I can turn around and I can continue my beadwork this way. So if I make a bracelet, I can make it in one piece of thread because adding more thread into it and working threads off, um, like if you don't have to do it, it's always a bonus. That sounds like... Coffee and cake. Yes, absolutely, Ruth. That will be coffee and cake. This is the first necklace I ever made about 15 years ago and still wear it. Chris is wearing. Yes, I, I got, I think when I made a tiger tail pendant and it was here for quite some time, but I think I put it away now. I did have a spiral staircase necklace to go with it. I mean, I think I made it with bicons and might the... The rondel next, yeah? Might try the rondel next. You try. Try all sorts of different posh cream tea for you. Are. Oh, bless you. Right, okay. So, class. Let me just grab a class. Now, there is two ways we can add this to it. But we don't need to make it very complicated because sometimes I feel that we make things like more complicated than what it be. What we are aiming for is to make the end of our beadwork into a point. And once you made it into a point, then you can add the next, uh, you can add the clasp on it. So as you can see on here, as I was, as I'm coming out of the last seed bead there, I just picked up two size 15s. I went to the loop, picked up another two size 15, and I looped back into that last loop what I created. And I did this a couple of times. And I'm going to show you as well how to, kind of stitch them together so they form a stronger bond so as we're coming out of the last one i'm picking up two size 15s i'm going to pick up the loop i'm going to go through the loop on the clasp lon is saying i oh, yes i made one with bicons too very sparkly love it take this all the way down i'm going to pick up another two size 15s See, I'm not like up. Oh, this is one to sort of one thing because some people might be afraid of size 15 beads. I am not picking them up. I'm poking them out on my mat. And as I'm poking them up, can you see they just jump on? Even if I don't look, I'm looking at you now. And that I can see. Is there anyone? Yeah. Some of them will, will jump on there if you just keep poking at them. So I got another two. And I'm going to go. I'm going to come back through the last loop I have created. The whole of the loop. And I don't just want to have this sewn on there once. So I'm going to straight, I'm going to go up through the beads again, through the loop, into the 15s, through the loop of the clasp, and pull this up. There's plenty, there's so many different ways you can do this. And then I'm going to come back down. And I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go through all the loop. I'm going to stop right after the first size 15 seed bead. And I'm going to pull my thread through. So I'm not going there. Oh, I could do. Let's go through the hex as well. Let's do this one as well first. So let's go through the hex. And then instead of coming back down, I'm going to. We were going through three size 11 seed beads first. Now we're just going to go through two size 11 seed beads. For effectively, we're sewing the hex bead to the core beads itself, up to the, into the 15s, through the loop, and back down. So we've been through the clasp, this is the third time. I'm gonna go back down, stop right before the hex cut, hex cut bead, pull this through, and this is getting a little bit tighter. So I'm definitely not going to be able to come back through it much more. So I'm just gonna pull this through. And I'm going to try to go back up. I'm just going to try to go back up in through that last 11. I'll just turn this around. Into that last 11. And up through those two. So this is the fourth time I'm going through this size 15s. And I don't, I'm not sure if I will be able to. Yep, no, it's going through. Because with size 15, you can only really go through 
like three or four four times the mask definitely i did feel that the needle is a little bit tighter now so i won't be going around anymore and i'm just going to go back down i'm going to go through these two first i'm gently going to help it with my pliers and just pull it along just to gently help it to pull it through because i did <laughs> add that um lotion to my hand <laughs> and my, my my fingers are quite slippery and then I'm just going to go into the size 11s cross this over go into the size 11s and going down into my spiral away from my clasp so we have went through four times so I got a really nice and strong connection with my clasp, so it's definitely not going to break. Now I'm going to take it down a few more seed beads and then I'm going to do a one thread knot or half hitch knot to secure my thread down. Oops, just wrapped it around the clasp. Make sure I do this all the time <laughs> that I accidentally wrap it around the clasp and when I pull tight, I didn't realize it until it's too late and I only did my half hitch knot. Right, just one more. Okay, so do a half hitch knot and then I'm going to come under. I'm not going through any of the seed beads. I just go the thread path between these two size 11 seed beads and I'm going to pull my thread up. And as you can see, this little loop is forming on the top of my beadwork. Now, before this disappears, I'm going to go through this loop and pull my thread through and as I'm as I'm pulling that tight can you see there's that little knot is forming on the top of it now I'm going to go down two or three more beads and repeat it again just to be super secure then take it through another two beads and cut my thread so I'm just called the thread path again I'm pulling this through until it becomes just a tiny little loop there Go through that loop again, pull this tight, and I got another little knot on the top of there. Go through the next two beads. And cut my thread off. So when I'm cutting off, I'm pulling away. I'm pulling the thread where I want to cut away from the bracelet. And I take my scissors and I push the bracelet away with my scissors so I can get a really nice and I won't have any tails and showing and now all it's left to do I'm going well no it's oh, no, we have to finish the bracelet but um take more thread off the bobbin and then I can continue my beadwork display because that's exactly the same how we've been doing it excitement I love that accomplished feeling God bless you Um, me too I don't read instruction to finish properly yet I, I'm so guilty of that because like so but even when I get a pizza out of the freezer Simon goes like have you read the instructions I was like no it's only pizza you know I mean come on so I'm so guilty as that that as well that I don't read instructions oh I've got my beads ready to do this later oh have a go Sheila but send us a picture to see how you're getting on I have that problem, I think because I know it's nearly finished and I start rushing, then get myself into a pickle. I do that as well all the time because it's the same thing. Like when you do anything, you don't want to spend time. Like, you know, just just like the last 15% of time-wise on a project is always the hardest. But let me go and grab, just give me one sec, let me go and grab the... Um, Spire stack is necklaces out of the cupboard and I'm going to show you all the other ones we did before as well. So you can compare. There we go. There we go. Okay, so... Let's zoom out so you can see. 
you can see all of them so just to recap this is what we were doing today so you got five colors in the rose gold bundle 22.99 it makes five necklaces i think that's phenomenal value because we're using the pf colors they are the really good quality colors of seed beads i really really do love these colors and then you have the gold bundle and they don't, oh, where is, where is the last one? There isn't a crossover in the colors of the hex cuts. So even if you get both bundles, you're going, the hex cuts are going to be completely different. I really love this black diamond. I think that just looks so classy. So that's, that's what we were doing today. Do have a look at them on the website. Now, going back, we did spiral staircase vid. And I'm going to show you these ones. These, like, you could do it with all different move these beads out of the way off you go beads <laughs> off you go go to the side let's pull, pull you out i don't i don't want to mix them up because <laughs> then I, I won't be able to see which one is which so we did this one before this one is using bicone beads but we are starting with a small, smaller bicon bead and then we end up with larger bicon beads at the bottom. bottom. And this is why, I, in the middle, not the bottom, middle. So this is why I said how you can shape your work. You can have add larger loops or larger beads to the bottom of your work. And I did this in, I got quite a few different colors, but they do, they look really nice and, and tapered. They are the premium bicon beads. Right, now we did it with crystal beads as well. Again, same stitch, but look how different is that, doing it with the little three millimeter crystal bicones. They, they are really sparkly as well. We did, I got quite a few of these. Oh, I got other samples there as well. My old, I got my all these samples here as well. So we did spiral staircase vid, and this is a kit on the website as well, it's available. Did it with the super duo beads. So that's how they look. They just stand up. They're a little, little bit fatter. They have more of a, a spiral finish. And you got the, not super duo, mini duo. Mini duo beads are right in the middle there going around. So we, we did this version as well. And I got, I have tried them with pearls before. That I think that looks really, really great. This one just seed beads, but picking up three different seed beads. So it's, you got like an order twisting going all the way around. That's bicones again, bicones. Right, now this one I need to show you in a sec. More bicones. There is another hex cut one with blue ones. I had so many different samples of this one. Now my very oldy oldy samples, this, this one is really old. And this one actually was using craft seed beads. So can you see... How uneven, how, how close can I come so you can see it? Can you see how uneven are those beads are? And it was just a mixture of uh, blue uh, seed beads. This is probably about 15 years old, this sample, if not, if not, if not older. And then I tried all sorts of different other things, uh, bits of pieces as well. So once you make something or learn something, you can always take it to the next level. And I'm going to show you this. I might grab that one as no. I'll grab the turquoise one. I like the turquoise one better. I want to show you this because oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. You need to see. So going from a single spiral staircase, you can do a double, and you can do a triple. I really do love it. So you can take it to the next level. Get the kit. Master, master the stitch and then you can take it further and, look, and make a really nice and interesting piece of jewelry that, that's the triple one as well there I love it I, I, I really do love it so you, you can grow with it 12 is the smallest can we be seeing um, <laughs> are we talking about seed beads or needles oh no I'm late to the party don't worry you can watch it back very very soon then is the largest is go down in size. So there they are um there are smaller needles than 12, but they like really like as thin as a hair. If I find if I find um if I find mine, I'll I'll show it to you maybe on a Sunday live. I got these colours in a few colours. 
but are stunning with bicones. That's the one I did in gold. It looks beautiful. Yes, those are those ones. We did them at maybe end of last summer. I can't really remember, like quite some time ago. Um, my dad used to read instructions and been them before we got a look in. So I don't read them either. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm so guilty of that. Right, so that's it, well, ladies, um, for me today. And gentlemen, I guess I can't just say ladies because um, I, I, I don't really see who is watching. Have a look, have a look on the website. Have a look, um, have, have a oh, look at my hair. My, I had another go up my haircut last week and it didn't really, it didn't really improve. So I definitely, I'm in desperate need of a hairdresser. But our hairdressers are booked up forever. <laughs> but I'll be May now. So I'll see, I'll see, I'll see what can I do. So everybody have a lovely, have a lovely day. I'll be back tomorrow. How do you do the triple? Beautiful. We're going to have to do, I'm going to have to come back and show you that on another day. Please do a tutorial on the necklace. That is on a double, triple. Yes, we will do. Is there a A Aslon marked in any way? You can quickly tell the difference between D and double A. Yes, you can. So let me just show you a D. A D will either have a red thing in the middle, like a... a I'm showing it to the camera. I'm not even on the right camera. Come on. What's wrong with me today? So a D will either have a red thing in the middle or or it's going to be completely white or it's going to have like a little red mark. So these are all D threads. Now on the other hand, the double A will have a blue mark on there and the blue mark is always on there on the double A. It doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter what color it is, but with the, with the red one, so any of those, red middle, red line on the middle, or white is all D. And the blue one, if you've got a little blue mark on it, then it's going to be double A. I hope, I hope, I hope that makes sense <laughs> to you, but that's, that's, that's how you can tell the difference. Oh, Joe's on. Oh, hey, Joe. Jo Joe's shop is open today, and she she's doing nails today. So she's like, oh, I can't get on today, but um, I can see that she just came on. So hi, Joe. So she must be between <laughs> be between two people. Oh, I love love to go on and have my nails done, um, but I think she would be a bit of a drive for me <laughs> to have my nails done. Right, my question. Perhaps do triple. Tomorrow, next week, why fresh in people's mind? Um, no, I'm gonna let you to get the kit, and I'm gonna let you to learn this one, and then we will do the double and triple. Maybe we make that as a beat club project, because it's not not much more expensive, not much more. Um, you don't need much more experience, um, for it, but um, yeah. You need time to sort of the, the get it and get around it because you need to do one part of it and then you come back and do other part and there's a couple of different ways to do it anyway. So my my doing a beat club lovely, and if you don't know what the beat club is, then go on the beatclub.co.uk website because on every Thursday we have got Zoom, uh, Thursday night or Friday lunchtime we have Zoom classes and we have the loveliest bunch of ladies um coming together really like minded people and we do always doing a project together either Thursday night or, or on Friday. I, I love it. I, I'm, that's my highlight of my week every single every single week. I just love it. But thank you so much for the stars. I can't see who sent it. I'm sure Lucy is going to uh, pop a link in just in a minute. And um, oh, Lucy just popped up the link for the Bead Club. So it's beadclub.co.uk. Check that one out for this side. You can check that one out. And um, but bead club, yes, Diane is saying she loves it. Is it's just nice, and it you can just join as a one off, like for one lesson, if you're not sure, but you can join us like on a monthly basis as well. And then that gives you the it gives you the space for that class every single Thursday or every single Friday. I think we or we are limited on the Thursday night classes I, I don't know i think we only got three or four uh, spaces left because it's capped uh, but um hit the like button i always forget to say it ruth thank you so much uh please hit the like button if the video was um 
like you know if you liked the video and it was informational for you just hit the like button so i know that um that you like the content love friday big gub leslie saying yeah I, I love it too because that's my social interaction as well right my lovelies have a good day have a good yeah I'm saying have a good day, have a good week, but I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow, everybody. <laughs> Bye.